here we are then, Albion Yard YouTube channel again. Uh, please share, subscribe and like. And we're having a second look at the AK Interactive Atlantic Blue water gel. In the previous video we saw that I'd applied it and we were waiting for it to dry. Now it has dried now and you can see I've put my hand on it there's no stickiness or anything. So it has dried. Um, colouring isn't bad. Uh, quite like the colour. It probably needs something else to it. In terms of what does it look like, again it's got a pretty good low level effect and as we go higher again you can see that it has a sheen to it. I'm using LED lighting here and what I'll do in a second is I'm just going to turn off the overhead fluorescence so I'll do that now. So we're now working purely on the layout lighting. Reflectivity pretty good I need it to be better so it might be that once I'm happy with the colour and you can see there it's blue and brown so it, it needs a better blending and I'm wondering whether one of the uh, green colours will work from the um, AK Interactive. They do a, uh, a sort of a muddy green watercolour and I'll try that. When we go down low you can see that we do have reflectivity but not as shiny as I want it so a little bit more work on that I think is needed. So a second covering and I'll show you a little bit of uh, how I go that application. Right here we are then, we are back in the room. Uh, so here we go, here's the gel and you can see the two inch brush here. I'm giving it a good shake up and I'll open it up now. It's a screw lid. And you can see it's a very thick sort of cream type consistency. So I'm not going to mess around here. I'm just going to go in hard, so to speak. And what I'm going to do is to draw this across all in the same direction initially. I'm going to put it on quite thick and just work my way across the whole area of this piece of uh, perspex that I'm using. The reason why I'm coming across in the same direction is that any wind effect that we get on this material. I want it all to be consistent so it looks like the wind is coming from one direction. So that's got the initial pile out of the top of my jar lid. And again, as a look at that, I'm not when I say I'm not convinced with it. Uh, I'm not sure it's working exactly as I want it to. So again, I'm going to now start doing. stippling because that's giving me not a bad effect actually quite liking that I'm just moving this a little bit so that it makes less noise so what I'm going to do now is to replicate this again with this same blue color it's the Atlantic blue 
all the way down the board and leave it for a good 24 hours or so come back in and we'll have a look see how it's dried to see what sort of effect we've got with it uh, and I'll put different thicknesses on this is quite a light coating here that you can see me doing now the bit closer in towards the camera is much thicker so again it'll be interesting just to see what sort of effect we get and I'm tempted actually to leave right at the very end here this section here because part of that will actually be underneath scenery where I match the water to the ground effect I'm actually going to leave that so that I can see what it looks like when it's dry with these straightforward pull marks across it and just see whether that is of benefit or not. So there we go, I'll finish this off and we'll come back and have another look in about a day's time. Thanks for watching. So here we are then, here's some second coating complete. You can see at the end here these brush marks I'll see what those turn out like when it's dry um, as I said that's probably going to be covered with the borderline with the scenery so uh, it'll, it really doesn't matter if that's not uh, the same effect as the rest of the water I've put on a couple of different layers here or a thicker layer and you can see the lighter blue there is where I've gone quite a bit thicker but still use that same stippling motion in the brush to get a texture and this has been on probably five minutes or so and we'll just see how that dries and come back to it again about 24 hours time see if it's dried see what the colors like see what the reflections like you don't get much of an idea as it's drying in its current state but give it 24 hours and we'll have another look.